Welcome to our replacing a damaged brick video. Um, you can see from the wall there's a cross on a damaged brick and we're about to, to drill that out. Um, depending on the drill you've got, an 8mm drill bit is probably about right for continuous use without burning your drill out. If you've got a really powerful drill you can probably get away with 10mm but, but 8mm is about right. Drill all the way around the perimeter of the brick through the, through the joints because obviously we have to take the joint out as well as the brick and the more holes you can get in that brick the easier it's going to be to chop out in a moment. If you're lucky enough to have a cutter or to be able to get a cutter then you can tidy up the edges by cutting in just at the front with the cutter so that we have a nice straight front edge to work to. Two chisels, one small bolster and one plug-in chisel. The plug-in chisel is the pointed one of the two. And then bash the brick out in small pieces. Always make sure you've got proper goggles on for this. And if you're not used to doing it, then a pair of gloves is a real advantage. When you've got the brick out, make absolutely sure you clean all of the debris for as far as you can reach. Some of it will have dropped down into a cavity if there is one. So make sure you've got all of that out because that will allow that water to carry across the, uh, the cavity. That will bridge the cavity, could, could potentially cause damp make sure it's out. Try your new brick in for size and when you're sure it's going to fit then start mixing up some sand and cement. The sand and cement milks will very much depend on the existing sand and cement so have a look at our mixing mortar project page on DIY Doctor to make sure you get the right colour and the right consistency for your mix and your joints. Lay a bed of mortar on the bottom of the hole that you've created and then butter up the sides of the hole. Lay some mortar on the top of the brick you're about to insert and wiggle it very carefully in place, trying not to dislodge um, any mortar if possible. Make sure the face of the brick is flush with the face of the wall and then use a pointing trowel to push the mortar in so that you're sure there are no voids. You'll see in a second that I use the pointing trowel to tilt to one side and then the other to make absolutely sure that joint is completely full up. There we are. Push it in as far as you can get it until you can't get any more mortar in that joint. 